this spring. The best in the nation come together to compete for the title. The 2014 U.S. Championships. The 2014 U.S. Championship and U.S. Women's Championship being played at the Chess Club and Scholastic Center of St. Louis. Hi folks, John Cordisco back again with another great chess video for you. Today I've got a game from around five of the U.S. Championship. It's between Sam Shanklin from the Bay Area in San Francisco, excuse me, in California, and Gadakamski is black from New York. Gada, of course, is a current U.S. champion and world-class elite player. Sam's come a long way, too, in the last year, year and a half. Uh, I like Sammy. He tells it like it is, and he uh, he's an interesting guy. I saw him back in March of 2014 at the Eastern Class Championships in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, and uh, he's a great player. They both are. Anyway, Sam Shanklin is white, Kansky is black. It's going to be a closed Roy Lope. Let's get to it. E4. E5. Sorry, it's a new piece, so I had to use another piece to get it out. When they're new like this, it's, it's tough to move them around, but got a new board, so let me know how you guys like it, okay, in the comments section you know, right below. Knight to F3. Typical. Knight c6, bishop b5, a6, kicking the bishop, bishop comes back, and black plays knight f6. Now, we've all seen this a million times, a million times in the relo pay. It's going to be the closed relo pay, and you'll see why in a minute. White castles. And bishop d7. Typical stuff. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's reams and reams of theory. In case you guys are new out there, and theory means it's moves that have been figured out in openings up until move 15, 20, 30 sometimes, depending on uh, your level of skill and uh, if you're following a preparation or not. Rook d1. b5. Kicks the bishop. Sam moves the bishop back in black castles. Now I gotta give Sam credit. He's been doing okay, fair in the tournament. He's got three draws and one loss. This is round five. And to play the real low play against Gonakamski, uh, you gotta be fairly confident in your ability. C3. I'm surprised that the c3 move was so early. He's going to eventually tuck that back here. And also, it's to reinforce your control over the d4 square. d6. h3. When the pawn moves from d6, this bishop's going to come and pin this knight, which will be incredibly annoying because the light squared bishop's way over here. It can't interpose. So h3. And got the size to move the knight back to b8. He's going to reroute that knight. d4. Knight on b to d7. The knight comes up. And Sam basically mirrors that knight to d2. Black's bishop to b7. And bishop to c2. Rook d8. You know, it's interesting in these positions. It doesn't look like much is happening, but, you know, I'll tell you from other videos and just your own games yourself, all hell can break loose at any time. Well, it's tough doing live videos here. You lose your place. Bishop c2. Rook e8. a4. Sam decides he wants to open up the queen side a little bit. Gotta move the bishop back. And bishop to d3. 
I'm not a real OP player. I'm an E4 player. I used to be until everybody plays the Sicilian, and I hate playing against the Sicilian. It's like, oh man, here we go. And so what I'll do is if I play, and he plays Sicilian, I'll play C4, kind of a Roxy bind setup. But C6, I reinforce the B5 pawn. White plays B4. Knight to B6. Borgata. It's an interesting position, I'll tell you. You know, it's funny. You'll see it this whole time. These two pawns, these two pawns. Amateurs like us, and not really good players, will always trade whenever a trade's available. It, you know, these guys like to lead. A takes B, and then A takes B. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to lose that pawn. By the way, that's the first capture of the game. White plays rook takes, and black takes, queen takes. Gotta get used to this new board, the pieces are so stiff. White plays knight to b3. h6 for black. I'm not sure why he made that move. I think it's to stop the bishop from coming here. White plays d takes e5. And black plays d takes c5. Bishop to e3 for white hitting the knight. And black plays knight to a4. Now let's stop and take a look at this now. I see the c pawns for both are backward. That knight's not in the greatest spot in the world. It is hitting the c3 pawn. It's pretty even. This rook's tied down a little bit in the defense of the pawn here. I don't see anything, anything major that advantage that either side has. Queen of c2. Bishop c8. I guess Kamsky's deciding if he wants to bring the bishop back over to this side of the board. I'm not really sure. This knight is still in a weird spot. He can come back here. This would be a good spot as well. I'm not sure what that knight is doing there, to be honest with you. Rook to a1. Queen to b8. He gets that right off of there because the knight's pinned, of course. And the next move, he's going to come after the knight with the queen pinned. So he moves the queen. White plays knight to a5, which is interesting. He's hitting the backward pawn. Here we go again. This knight's hitting the backward pawn. This knight's hitting the backward pawn. Bishop d7, protect the pawn. White plays c4. Bishop takes b4. You're going to see a lot of exchanges now. It's going to go quick. Knight takes c6. Okay. Well, I tell you, it's tough with these new pieces. They'll get worn out eventually. Bishop takes. C takes, Bishop takes, Bishop takes, Queen takes, Queen takes, Rook takes, <laughs> whoops, take that back, Queen takes, excuse me, and Rook takes. And there we are. Looked like a hell of a promising game. It really did. 
and that happens sometimes. You'll have these mass exchanges. I'm a little disappointed. I was looking more of a fight from Gata. He is third place. He is the defending champion. I thought he would show more resistance. Bishop F8. Rook to A5. Knight takes. Oh, excuse me. Knight takes. E4. Rook takes. And there's what they called it a draw. I was a little disappointed. And not so much in Sam, but in Gata a little bit. You know, you got White against Gata Kamsky. You should push, and he tried, but you know, you're going to see what's going to happen as Rook takes. What's a symmetrical position exactly? Both have a knight, both dark spirit bishop, pawns. So they called it a draw. I mean, I was looking on the computer earlier, and it's basically almost 0, 0.00. So it was drawn. And that's one of the games from round five of the U.S. Championship. Looked like a promising battle and it just petered out. And it happens sometimes in games. Uh, God has said in the interview after, he says, well, I'm going to keep trying, and if I see a spot, I'll take it. But he says, it looks like you might get a new U.S. Champion, which I was really surprised to hear in an 11-round tournament with Gata in round five. So we'll see what happens. I'm not really rooting for anybody because my buddy Carl Nakamura isn't in it, so of course whatever he's in, I always root for him. And uh, there's there's some I'll tell you the truth, not to sound critical of the male players in the US Open, the US women's championship. They're the ones that are really showing a fighting spirit. A lot of a lot of blood on the board as they say for the ladies, so good for them. Uh, maybe not fun to play, but it certainly is fun to watch. Anyway, folks, that's the game. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you all to remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. And I want to thank all my new subscribers, the many that I received in the last couple of months. Thank you. I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you would click the like button on the video, that would be really awesome. I would appreciate it. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. Night out on the town, $75. So? So? So, how about a blowjob? Getting the nerve to ask such a question? $12 bottle of wine. Are you crazy up here? It's my thing. Oh, come on. Who's going to see us at this hour? I'll return the favor. Wait, can you imagine if we got caught? Oh my God, what my dad would do to you. There's nobody around. Everybody's asleep. No way. It's way too risky. Please. I love you so much. Actually using a line like that? Another $12 bottle of wine. I just can't. Please? Dad says to go ahead and give him a blowjob. Or I can do it. Or if need be, he'll come down himself and do it. But for God's sake, tell him to take his hand off the intercom. Having a girlfriend whose father has a sense of humor? Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's master.